This week, Rhea and I visit an incredible area that's nationally renowned for its OHV recreation, but has been closed for over a decade. It was recently reopened, and we've got the inside scoop. Then we're heading down south to hit the trails and check out the beautiful Red Rock scenery as we go for a ride at Gunlock State Park. Finally, we're going to go to the Strawberry Marina as they host one of the largest ice fishing tournaments in the state. It's sure to be a great catch, so reel in your chair at your leisure is next. one of the most iconic scenes in the central part of the state of Utah and there have been way more than just Indian battles that have taken around uh, <laughs> taken place around it. Hi everybody welcome to At Your Leisure I'm Chad Booth and I'm Rhea Rossi Booth and we are out here at the Factory Butte this is an open riding area that was designated an open riding area in 2008 but it wasn't until 11 years later that they actually made good on the promise and opened it up very interesting story. This is spectacular and we're with the great group of Wayne County Commissioners and the road crew and I'm just really excited to actually be able to go cross country. You just feel like you're just going to explore something that you've been like prohibited for so long. We're going to tell you a little bit of the story about how this closure came about and how it took 10 years for what was planned in a resource management plan to come to life. For the last decade, it's been a problem. There's two kinds of endangered cactus here. I'm, I'm 74 years old next week. I've never seen one yet, I've seen pictures. Uh, but uh, there are cactus here uh, around this area and they're supposedly, they're endangered. And so the Endangered Species Act has caused a lot of this uh, situation to come about. Every year we'd be promised that it would be open in another year back to the way it was supposed to be and it wasn't until uh, last year we finally got notice that it had been approved to be open and so we're excited for it to be open to cross-country travel because it's an economic uh, driver for our county and for the community because a lot of people come here and want this kind of area for that purpose. So access that has brought us to the present is good but there's still access that needs to take us to the future. Commissioner Blackburn, Commissioner Extraordinaire from Wayne County, I was just going to ask you a question. Uh, what's the deal with the road up to the uh, plane wreck site? Why is that important to get that open? It's important because access is what we really need in Wayne County, where we're only 3% private, and access to our public lands is very important. And this is also a, like, it's a part of our history. It's where this World War II plane went down and access you used to drive right to it. Mm -hmm. It's still part of our D road system and we need to get it opened back up to where we can get in there where people can come see it. So you're wanting to maintain it so that the monument that's in downtown is in Loa? It's in Loa, so right, the, right by the courthouse. So the, the people of the monument can actually come out and tour the site? Right. Okay, well there you go. Access is important. Access is important. And so is our destination this week, as we're going to flip right now and head out to our where to. We all know and love Gunlock State Park. From the striking beauty of the waterfalls to the refreshing reservoir, it's a wonderful summer destination. But it's not just a location for the summer, as it boasts year-round activities. Most notably, the incredibly expansive off-road trail systems in the park's backyard. Uh, this trail we started out on is called the Joshua Forest uh, Trail. And it starts down by the Gunlock Reservoir. You come up the main road for a ways and then go over Powerline Road. And as you saw, we got into the sand and, and different rock formations up on top. We went across the trail, you know, got a little rougher, better, different terrain. And back on the main road, come up here. And the, the trail we're on now in the area we're at is called Gold Strike. And you can see they've they mined this area up through here quite a bit. So. 
uh, we could go on up further up the road and hook onto another trail. Um, There's just so many trails that all hook onto each other around through here. Uh, throughout the, this whole southern country, we can take and ride and just ride all day if you want. There's, just bring lots of gas if you do. Whether you're looking to spend an entire day out on the trail or just wanting a short adventure to begin or end your day, the trails next to Gunlock, they can provide. Trails are extensive enough that you can you can plan a day to, uh, any way you wish. You can plan a day where you do spend a couple of hours on the trail in the morning, a couple of hours in the evening, spend all day out here, or just, just take a little leisurely ride in the, at sunset and come up on the hill and watch the sun go down. So there are enough variety that you will not get bored if you're, and if you want to take an all day trip out here and cover 100 miles on your UTV, uh, you can do it without ever uh, backtracking. You can make a big loop and uh, make, a, make a whole day out of it and see different, different country every mile you go. The diversity of these trails, it's astonishing. Riders can experience multiple landscapes even over a short day of exploration. The red rocks that St. George is known for exist in abundance and lay on the ground like dust clouds frozen in time. Less than an hour down the trail, visitors are embraced and welcomed by extending branches of Joshua trees. Or you can pick up on the Gold Strike Trail and witness some of the awe-inspiring abandoned mines and appreciate the geology of the area. Just past that is a scenic ride up to the mountains where everyone can enjoy the fresh alpine air and spectacular views. All of these things can be experienced in a single day right outside of Gunlock. You do have to go a short distance on a Utah highway out of, out of the state park and then you can head, head west. We can go into Nevada and go over to the Mormon Mountains and down into Mesquite that way. So there's, there's a lot of access out of that state park that you can get to go a, a number of different places. We can't wait to see you out there this year at Gunlock State Park, staging your next off-road adventure. For At Your Leisure, I'm Joe Davis. Can-Am off-road vehicles are always ready to get the job done. For every harvest, hunt, and ride. Because those who don't stop need a machine that won't quit. And now at the Spring Fever event, get up to $3,000 off on select 2019 models. Visit your local Can-Am dealer for details. What is it that gets us out here to the middle of nowhere? What makes us choose the sweltering heat instead of our air-conditioned homes and swimming pools? Usually, it's just some friendly trash talk. Polaris Can-Am World in Mesquite, Nevada. Let us customize the side-by-side -side perfectly for your needs. We'll try it out on our test track to make sure it's right. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We are in the kitchen today with Katie Yardley from the Eagles Landing Travel Plazas. And this woman can cook, as you all know. So what are we doing today? Today we're going to be doing 
an American goulash, my version of American goulash. Nice. Using our Yardley Premium Steak Burger. So let's start Absolutely. cooking. Absolutely, let's get cooking. All right. You actually want to take about two tablespoons of oil, put in the bottom of your pan. Then once we get that in there, we take our Premium Steak Burger. Look at that beautiful cow in there. And then one thing I really like to do in the midst of uh, breaking up the steak burger, I like to season my beef right now. Yep. Once your meat's completely browned, then you want to start adding your ingredients. Two packets of pre-packaged spaghetti seasoning mix. Nice. <laughs> you want to stir your seasoning mix in, give it a chance to kind of brown and cook with your meat. Then we want to add our tomato paste. Kind of mix in, let it, let it cook and stick to the pan a little bit. Oh my gosh. I wish you guys could, could smell this. It really does. It's really good. So you want to add about 30 ounces of, I like San Marzano tomatoes. They actually are the best flavor. Remember when I said quality? Uh -huh. And then you also want to add um, 15 ounces of tomato sauce. This is organic cane sugar. I do about two tablespoons. So once we get to this point, then we add about two, two to three cups of broth. Then you want to add your Worcestershire. I usually do about a tablespoon of Worcestershire in this. So once it comes to a complete boil, you want to add your pasta. Once it's completely stirred in, you want to cover it and let it cook for about 10 minutes. Make sure, very important, you stir it about every one to two minutes. Otherwise, the pasta will stick to the bottom of your pan. Mm, yeah. And then we put a lid on it and we let it set for a few minutes. Once your 10 minutes is up, you want to remove the lid. Oh. And then at this point, you want to leave the lid off for about the last two minutes so that the excess moisture can evaporate. All right, now that we've reached the ending point, it's ready to serve up. Rhea, are you hungry? I'm starving. <laughs> Perfect. So we dish it up in the bowl. This is where the cheese comes in. Take oh, your cheese yummy. and you just sprinkle the cheese all over the top. All right, okay. well, let's grab a few basil leaves. Fresh basil leaves from my little plant here. Oh, look how sweet. You cut those up and you just put those on top. Yep. So, Rhea, here we are. What do you think? Oh, the moment has arrived. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Let's do gonna cheers. Be, cheers, absolutely. Look our, at this. Oh, I can't believe it. Look, look at all that it. cheese. It's so good in the basil. Mmm. Outstanding. It's delicious. It is. And if you want to get this recipe, go to our website, ayltv.com, and you can get this recipe and you can make it as many times as you want. And if you're interested in this Yardley Premium Beef, which is just so primo, it really is, go here and you can check it out. You can buy it. You can, you know, peruse their website. It's fantastic. A wonderful oh, website. Yeah. And um, so there you have it. And I hate to say goodbye, but we're going to have, don't go away because we got a lot more AYL coming up. So thank you for joining us. Thank you, Katie. on vacation, I never ask, are we there yet? Because my daddy makes sure each stop we make is at Eagle's Landing. They have such cool things for kids, like a petting zoo. They have the cleanest bathrooms on earth, and daddy doesn't freak out pulling up to the pumps, because they're really big and he says it's the best gas in the world. And you can get your tired fix, like we had to. Oh, and their food is so yummy. Eagle's Landing is so much fun, I don't care if we ever get there. Join us for the Beaver Trails UTV Jamboree, May 12th through 15th in Beaver, Utah. We came down last year and it was so much fun that we told them we wanted to come again this year and we're going to come back next year. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Just the beauty of going through the mountains. It was really nice. We met uh, people from Arizona, New Mexico, Wyoming. So they're coming in from all over. Sign up today at beaver.utah.gov.
Oh gosh, you can't take a bad picture from around here. No, no. Well, or uh, a bad line, apparently. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are down here at the open riding area at Factory Butte in Wayne County, between the town of Caneville and Hanksville. And this is like almost 8,000 acres of open cross-country travel. And what a place to come for a, a weekend. It really is. This is just uh, ATV, uh, motocross, anything you're talking about. What a mecca. I, it, it's gorgeous. And it's not sand. It's like a a clay. Yeah, it's bent night kind, clay. So it, it, yeah, so it's real forgiving. It's really soft. No dust. Yeah. Uh, you can Seriously. take off any way you want. You do have to be careful of the little devil ditches that are out there because you think you're running across flat land and all of a sudden mm -hmm. there's a crevasse. It's true. Watch it because you could totally biff it. You know. We started out gunning it when we left the kiosk <laughs> and then pretty soon we were turned into old ladies driving. Well, it's open range, right? So you're yeah. just like, wow, you're driving. You're just having so much fun and then you realize... Of course, and then you'd surprise what you can accomplish. The head of the road crew just was at the top of this hill yeah. with us on his ATV, <laughs> and for a heart-stopping moment, uh, he turned around and went back down. I... Yeah, Rhett almost gave me a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Backing up, starting down. Yeah, I think he's. I think he's done this before. Well, you know, it's really important for your soul to get out here and camp. Bring your trailer. Bring your friends. But it also is really important for the county too. We are 97% state and public lands, state and federal lands. We need multiple use to uh, establish our economy and keep our economy thriving. So. We need recreation, we need livestock grazing, we need timbering, we need mining, and we need tourism. We need the whole, we need the whole gamut. Just being out and being able to express yourself and not eating someone else's dust, and just being free and out across the land. I think we need to use it, but use it wisely. My advice is to have fun, but respect others while you're doing while you're having fun. It's amazing to come and just drive wherever you want to go here. People come, they spend two or three days, they're going to buy gas, they're going to, they got to eat. It's the stop and stay, but it's also, you can rent an ATV down here in Hanksville. You can make these loops. People that are traveling through, they, they want to do that. You know, I love win-win situations. Yeah, me too. You help the county out, you help them uh, keep their economy growing by coming down here, and you just have the time in your life and this is the backdrop to your campfire. Can you even believe it? This too can be all yours if you come on out here. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. That would sound like spokesman's for Wayne County. I don't get it. I love Wayne County. It's just a lot of fun. The people are wonderful too. Yeah, well, stay with us. It's time for us right now to move on to our Along the Way. We're about taking people that are unable to go fishing, fishing. A lot of people might have asthma or they might have some surgery and so we take them and their children to go fishing. We create also events where people can meet one another. We're meeting people and getting to know each other with activities, with hot chocolate, with, uh, you know, the ugly boot contest. And it's just a lot of fun where the guys are going to line up with their ugly boots and we'll see who gets the award. I gave away some odor eliminator and spot remover spray to the ugliest boot <laughs> and uh, just kind of out here socializing, getting to know people and let them know about Moji Life. I've been ice fishing all my life and it's just being out in nature, you know, it's a family event. It's always great just to get out and being out in the outdoors. It, it was really great to go with a friend and you know, it's, it's been a really great experience, really fun to, to come and see this and experience all these people and it's just been really fun. We probably have a hundred tents, so you add two or three people to that and that's where you get 300 people. Well, I didn't realize the ice would be that thick and that it was that sturdy. 
So I had a little worry about that when I first got here, but I've been learning all about ice and the thicknesses. And, and then to have that heater in the tent was just amazing because <laughs> I was freezing. <laughs> I am trying to catch some fish, but also bringing out some hot chocolate to people so they can stay warm a little bit. Uh, did a little bit of judging for the uh, biggest fish story. A panel will judge the best fishing story. So if it's not today, then some other time. We fish as a family, so we decided to take the kids and go up to East Canyon. We pull in between all of these boats and we're like, ooh, yeah, we're good, we can cast out. And all of a sudden you hear, fish on! Because that's what we yell. And then the kids are like, fish on, fish on! And all five of us go around and we're yelling, fish on! And this guy from the other boat goes, hey, we've been here all day, what are you using over there? And without missing a beat, all of our kids yell, squirrel meat! <laughs> <laughs> I brought the, the main prize, which is an oversized uh, flay board. Uh, it's just real good to be able to build products and be able to go outdoors and have fun. It's all about, you know, the story. What are we out here for? The adventure. You know, having fun out here, catching the fish. It's not necessarily the big one, it might be the one that got away. Life's busy. The family is all headed in different directions. Work, school, sports. How do you pull everyone together? Stedman's Recreation can help you explore the outdoors and create memories to last a lifetime. Stedman's Recreation has Utah's largest selection of recreational vehicles. Side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, street bikes, electric bikes, trailers, and accessories. Yamaha, Honda, Polaris, and Beta. Plus, Stedman's has a full-service department of Honda power equipment. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. And we will see you next week on The County Seat. Sometimes our experiences on At Your Leisure are out of this world. Welcome back. We are in the Factory Butte area and we are with uh, Roger Bryan, who is the new commissioner for Wayne County. And Am I not mistaken? Is the name of that road down there called Cow Dung Road? I think so. <laughs> I think I heard that there's actually a sign there that says Cow Dung Road. Yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> and I've seen it on the map. I've never been on it. <laughs> is it filled with cow dung? I'm sure it I is. Just go, just go figure. <laughs> Somewhere out there on Cow Dung Road, however, is this out of world experience. There's a group called the Martian Society, and they're not people from another planet. They're people here that want to prepare to go to another planet 
and they have uh, constructed two habitats, one in the Arctic Circle of Canada and the other one right down here on Kaodong Road. And they practice. <laughs> it's like you're making this up. But no, you're not. it is not. It's true. You know, they practice <laughs> long term missions as what life would be like if they had to self sustain themselves on a hostile planet. And so they'll check into this biosphere and they'll put on spacesuits to go outside. They'll have hours for generators and they'll write out reports and go through the whole discipline. That's it actually so cool. sounds kind of cool. Well, your grandparents, uh, didn't they do some uh, sheeping out there? Yeah, they had we, some sheep? they used to run uh, winter sheep out here in uh -huh. this country uh, 50 years ago or wow. so, quite and a while back. You got a picture of you on a little on a horse out there with yeah, them? Yeah, I was just a little guy, and that first picture that I have ever had on me on a horse was back out on this country. So. That's so cool. You can literally point to where it was. Yeah, That's yeah, amazing. Country, so. What a blessing to grow up around it's, here. It's You're, been a great is, blessing. Is that your cherished picture? It is. That's my most uh, cherished one. Well, yeah. we've got another picture right now that has not been cherished to a person until this very moment <laughs> because they sent it in to us, and it's this week's sticker contest winner. This week's contest winner was submitted to us on Facebook by Richard Mercer, and it looks like he's the lucky winner of a Safari LT portable battery from Lion Energy. Lion Energy provides the best portable power on the market. Visit lionenergy.com for more details. Congratulations, Richard. Be sure to call us on Monday at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Now, let's take a look at our calendar of events. First up, March 18th through the 21st is the Tri-State ATV Jamboree in Hurricane. And the AYL crew will be there, so come by and say hi. Then, March 28th at the Wasatch Mountain State Park is the Dark Sky Week kickoff party with a fun stargazing event for the whole family. Now let's take a look at next week's show. Next week, Rhea and I are finally getting back on the trail as we get to show you all of the snowmobiling opportunities around Bear Lake. Then, Reese Stein is going to take us out to a one-of-a-kind festival in Delta as he witnesses a 3,000-mile voyage in the making at the 2020 Snow Goose Festival. Finally, our friends from Weller's Recreation are teaming up with Camp K, Utah's number one charity for children and adults with disabilities, to show them a great time on the snow. Next week's show looks great. It does. Yeah, you know, isn't this this has been an amazing day. It really has. Amazing people, amazing scenery. It's just, but it's so cool. We just get in our rig, we point it in a direction, and we just drive, and we end up here. There's just not that many places you get to do that. I know. Well, you know, whether it's just around the corner or on another planet, there's adventure <laughs> around every van. You just got to get in your spaceship and go find it. <laughs> <laughs> at, at your leisure. <laughs>